Cutting along the length of the board with the blade angled will result in either a bevel or a chamfer. A chamfer goes through one edge and one face of the board, whereas a bevel goes all the way through the board from face to face. The safest way to cut chamfers is to let the offcut fall to the outside of the blade to prevent it from binding between the fence and the blade. Left tilting saws, which nowadays are the most common, are better for this operation. Bevels can be cut with the grain or cross grain. A miter gauge or cross cut sled is recommended for cross grain cutting. Here, a stop block is being used to chamfer a panel equally on all four edges. To cut a chamfer, tilt the blade to the desired angle. Adjust the cut for width and complete the cut. Because tilting the blade may affect the fence scale, it may be necessary to lay out the end of the stock being cut and adjust the fence to the correct location. Raised panels can be made by running panels vertically through the saw. To do this, a tall auxiliary fence should be used to keep the panel from tilting as it is fed through the blade. Offcuts should never be trapped between the blade and the fence. These can cause damage to the saw and are a safety hazard to the operator. Table saws are able to quickly create large chamfers on stock. The resulting cut will typically require planing or sanding to remove the saw marks. Care needs to be taken to feed the panels smoothly without stopping or tilting the stock. A side guard, which puts pressure on the stock, is useful for this purpose.